Hello, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to change the default issue types in your Jira project. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash that subscribe button as this really, really helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps me grow my channel. And please drop a like if you find anything beneficial. If you have any questions about anything that I cover in this video, please make sure you drop a comment below and I will address it. Let's jump into the video. All right, and welcome back. So in order to do what we're going to be explaining today, you're going to want to be in a software project type. The template doesn't really matter, but depending if you picked like a Kanban or a Scrum or some like the bug issue type, what you see on your screen is going to vary. So if you haven't seen my video where I explained the differences between the Scrum template and the Kanban template and all the other templates that are available, please make sure you go and watch that video because this specific project is configured in a Scrum configuration. So if things are, again, if they're not looking the same for you, you're going to want to go check out that video so you can kind of see how we got to this point. But anyways, for this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this setting here. So you're going to go to project settings and you're going to come down to issue types. Now, these are the issue types that are defined by that template. So depending on what you picked, it's going to alter what is shown here. Now, for this video, the objective is to show you how to basically alter what is shown here. And I am specifically going to be dropping in a new issue type that isn't in this template, but that is available in my Jira. In order to do that, though, your Jira instance, right? So whatever your 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 cloud URL is, those issue types need to exist already. And so I do have a separate video that you're going to want to go check out so that you can go and learn how to make custom issue types. Please keep in mind that you need to be a site administrator. You need to be a power administrator of Jira in order to be able to create new issue types. All right. So with that out of the way, let's talk about how we go about altering the issue types here. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to come over to actions and you want to left click on actions, not right click like I just accidentally did. And you're going to want to click on edit issue types. Now you may be asking yourself, what is use a different scheme? Glad you asked. So a scheme, think about it as a box. In this box, I have these issue types. And in Jira, as a site administrator, I can define different boxes with different issue types made available. My Jira is fairly new, but if you're in a big company, you will probably have a lot of issue types. I have clients that have just the defaults and I have clients that have maybe 20 to 30 different issue types, just depending of whether you do testing, uh, what kind of agile methodology you follow, right? So there's just a bunch of different issue types that may or may not already be in your Jira. And as a site administrator, you can create these boxes that have these out of the box <laughs> issue types in them that you can then templatize and move them along different projects. So if a, if you have a, someone that wants a new set of issue types and they're the same, the exact, the, the exact same issue types that another project has, you don't have to go and do what we're about to do. You can actually just change your scheme here and pop it right in. And now you have the issue type. So it saves you a couple steps and it allows you to have consistency across your projects. But that's not the topic of today's video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about how to actually just alter this scheme. So we're going to click on edit issue types. And this is going to take you to the screen where you're going to be able to see a couple of very important things. And the first thing that I want to highlight is shared by one project. This is really key. Very important for you to understand this because when you're looking at this here, you want to make sure that you understand the number, the, the potential impact of your change. When I make any change to this screen to this issue type scheme, I am going to impact one and only one project. If you are sharing the scheme with various projects, any change that I do here will impact any project that is using this template. And it will tell you here, you want to be very, very careful that your change is appropriate to the level of impact that you're hoping to have. So please, please, please check this first. Second, here you can name the scheme. I'm not going to spend too much time here because I'm going to do an actual video where I kind of just break this down a little bit more just from an administrative setting. So just know that this is this is kind of where you can rename it. This is kind of critical. Uh, so by default, the story is going to be the, the, the default issue type. And what that means is when I hit the create button, uh, Jira is going to default to a story here under issue type. So that's how you can change 
what issue type is available for you. So if you wanted to have, when you go and click on the create button and you want a different issue type to show up, you're going to want to come here into your screen scheme and you're going to want to change this default issue type to be something else. And then the reason we're here is the issue types in the current scheme. So let's assume that you, for some reason, um, watch my other video where I talked about the differences between the, the task and the subtask and how all those are related. And you're like, you know what? Tasks are just way too complicated. I don't need them. They're confusing my team because my team just really needs an epic, a story, and a subtask because that's how the hierarchy of the three-step hierarchy is defined. And that's what I want to have for me and my team. So you can actually come in here and you can just drag and drop task from the uh in the current scheme to the available and that is going to remove your ability to create task issue types in your jira project now i am getting ready for a future video so i'm going to kind of give you a little teaser but if you are going to want to add an issue type above the epic uh, common i'm calling mine an initiative this is where you're going to come to drag it back in Again, I'm not going to do it now because you're going to want to make sure you're subscribed and make sure you like this video so that I know that you found value in this video. And I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, basically go above the epic. And for full disclosure, you are going to want to be on a paid uh, premium version of Jira Cloud. This will not work in the free version. This will not work really well in the standard version, although you can do what I'm going to explain, but you're not going to be able to take full advantage of it. You're going to want to be on Jira Premium to take full advantage of this. So anyways, once you're done manipulating your uh, issue types here, you're just gonna wanna hit save. That is gonna take you back to your Jira project and you're going to see that you task is now gone. So at this point, you basically have reduced the complexity for your team. Uh, tasks are out, maybe you don't use them and you're just gonna have your team use the epic, the story and the subtask. And this is exactly how you allow that to happen. So anyways, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Again, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. Drop a like on this video. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about, make sure you drop a comment. And in the description, you'll find links to other relevant information. So please feel free to peruse in there. And I will see you in the next video.